Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, I want to talk about this. Every single Hall of Fame badge able to be purchased from the pack market with MT this time. And you can buy two sets of every single Hall of Fame badge for 199,000 MT each. So you can get for less than 400,000 MT two sets of every single hall of fame badge in the game this is great for a no money spent player if you are a no money spent player and you have been saving your mt this might be worth picking up a set or two i will say this badges seem to have less effect on the gameplay this year than in previous years does that mean they don't have an effect no they have a massive effect and it definitely is a a, a big deal but i also think all of the hall of fame badges that were available to be bought with mt uh, or with vc over uh, black friday that day um, did not make as big of an impact on the gameplay as people expected. For example, my D-Book has a bunch of extra hops. My SGA has 35. Uh, my Braun has 45. My Giannis has 26. The rest of my players don't have a ton extra, but a couple of them have a couple extra here and there. Like, I think D-Rob has an extra three or four. Point being, I have a lot of extra Hall of Fame badges on some of my players. It doesn't make that huge of a difference. So at the end of the day, if you can't afford to get these Hall of Fame badges, I totally understand that. But 400,000 VC for 400,000 MT for that those Hall of Fame badges is great for a nominee spent player because they can attain that. Now, you only have 24 hours. So if you don't have the 199,000 MT right now, you're not going to be able to get the car get get the hall of fame badge unless you sell cards in your lineup or grind mt today or buy mt and yes if you want to buy mt i will look at this let's just take a look and see how much it would cost to buy 400,000 mt and okay so 400,000 mt is going to be 75 ish dollars yeah if you spent 280 plus 105 that's 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 70 dollars right there and just buy the 900 dollar one probably if you were going to buy it to be honest but um I probably would say the value, the value on buying MT is really bad in general in this game. I will say this is about the only thing I would ever consider buying MT for simply because you can't buy it with VC. Um, I already have a lot, a lot of Hall of Fame badges and yet at the same time, I'm still thinking about selling a couple of the diamonds that I have in my collection and stuff and picking up uh, a couple more sets of Hoffs with this MT because like the Hall of Fame badges are nice to have with that big set. As y'all can see, I have one or two of every single Hall of Fame badge and three of some of them. So got a bunch of badges still in my collection, but I still would like to get a set or two of those Hall of Fame badges and I probably will just so I can be set up for the one day galaxy opal pink diamond whatever luca that's coming obviously going to be interested to see what tomorrow's content is as well of course because we don't know as of yet what tomorrow's content is going to look like but the fact that they have just now made every single hall of fame badge purchasable with mt remember this is the content drop right before christmas that is an important distinction as well i think tomorrow's content drop is guaranteed to be ridiculous i think it's almost guaranteed to be victor when in some shape or form uh and the reason that i say that is because number one it is the content drop for christmas every year the content drop is before christmas is crazy so we can go back and look at uh 2k19 or 2k20 i should say i don't remember what the 2k19 one was 2k20 was uh galaxy opal ray allen pink diamond tracy mcgrady pink diamond yao ming it was an insane insane drop uh with some of the very best cards in the entire game that were some of the best cards in the game for months and i remember that drop distinctly 2k21 2k22 i don't remember quite as much what their season what their christmas ones were but i'm sure they were big last year obviously was a ton of big names we got kobe kd lebron uh luca we got a bunch of those guys obviously a lot of those were reskins of cards they already had basically but it was again targeted toward that new player audience audience tomorrow is tis the season future and we will get leaks in a couple hours when we're seeing this video and y'all know i got y'all with videos on the leaks when they come out but we are seeing future cards tomorrow that means rookies maybe second year players who does that mean that means maybe we get paulo boncaro jabari smith scoot henderson and victor Wimbanyama. he's the guy who makes a lot of sense i'm hoping for a Derek lively personally as a mavs fan obviously but um Wimby makes a ton of sense tomorrow. Haven't gotten a single viable Wimbanyama card this year. Not a single good uh, Wimbanyama card this year. The only Wimbies we've seen really are his base card and then the uh, two free agent cards that you could only use for five games, neither of which were all that great either, especially the, first, the second one that you got at the beginning of season two. Um, so I, I, Wimby makes way too much sense right before christmas and the fact that they're dropping every hall of fame badge makes me think that they're trying to incentivize people again to uh stock up and be prepared for this christmas drop and i probably will 
I'm not gonna lie, 2K's kind of got me. I, I gotta look at my collection, see who I could sell this, see who I could sell and see what's coming and everything. I'll probably wait till leaks today, but I might sell a couple of these players today that I have uh, and try to make myself a little bit of my NT, but considering I do have a few players in my collection that I could plug into some spots for sure as like temporary holdovers. Or holdovers. I don't have to have the best cards in every spot. Like I have some guys on my bench that I could use. I might sell an Anthony Davis, sell a Ron Artest, something like that, and uh, pick up one of those Hall of Fame badge sets. Uh, um, it would make sense to me. I don't really want to spend the money on it personally, but I think if I could get some of that MT without really hurting my team, it would make sense to pick that up. Probably going to have to spend some money on tomorrow's set, though, depending on what that is, but that's part of the content creator. Like, you just got to spend some money on it sometimes. It is what it is. I don't recommend spending money. I've said this many times, and I'll say it again real quickly. I don't recommend spending any money on 2K unless you have the disposable income to do so. Make smart financial decisions, please. Don't be out here making stupid financial decisions because you really, really want to have a 50 Hall of Fame badge win Binyama. Trust me, there's not that big of a difference, especially this year. There is still a difference, and I'm not going to sit here and say that there's not, but I think it's less than it's ever been with Hall of Fame badges. So for the people who don't have DMT right now to get those Hall of Fame badges, I don't think they're a necessity. They're not going to destroy the game. The last sets of Hall of Fame badges was five that they dropped, admittedly for VC, but still, they didn't destroy the game. My team is not OP compared to a team that doesn't have Hall of Fame badges. I can promise you all that. I lose to people with worse teams than me all the time at this point in the game, especially with the way the game plays this year. Now, is the gameplay a problem? Yes, that's a whole other issue. Con in terms of the way the game is played, these Hall of Fame badges actually don't wind up making that big of a difference, in my opinion, at least, uh, at the end of the day. That's just my personal perspective, but I haven't noticed that big of a difference since Thanksgiving and haven't noticed my team feeling too OP compared to a slightly less uh, souped up team with a couple less players with extra Hoffs and stuff, because obviously I have a few extra Hoff badge guys, but, Makes me wonder as well, is Wimbenyama going to be able to get every badge? Like, are we, what are we seeing tomorrow that's going to be able to get every badge outside of Kobe? Is there anything? Because Kobe's the only player that we know of tomorrow that can get every badge. And obviously, he's the lock-in player. He's like the new best player in the game, potentially. One of the new most exciting cards. But it also makes sense that it's not just Kobe tomorrow. It, it makes sense that it's Wemby. And if it's Wemby, is he going to be able to get every badge too? That's part of the thing. that I, That's part of what, what I'm wondering, honestly, because of the fact that um, this Wimbenyama is... Uh, probably coming and that they drop in the Hall of Fame badges the day before he comes out. If you can get a set of Hoffs, I think it's worth 200 KMT. That I will say. It, it's it's a chunk of time for sure. It's about 10 hours of grinding, I would say, with the way that MT making is right now, especially if you maximize your MT. If you're doing your exhibitions, honestly, MT making in this game has never been easier. Go do that domination. That's a good chunk of MT right there. Um, but like... I would spend the 200k MT on it if you have it personally. I really do think it's probably worth it. I, I don't know if that's a crazy take, but that's it's it's kind of nice that they're doing this with MT. I mean, it, it it is it's. I don't know how I feel about Hoff badges being this readily available and being this devalued this early this year, but I'm glad that they're making it so that this is here for the people who do not spend money on VC, don't spend money on the game, but have MT saved up because people are going to buy all these Hall of Fame badges and be able to compete now that they weren't able to otherwise with those Hall of Fame badges. And, and I'm not saying they couldn't compete, but they didn't have the Hall of Fame badges to use. Now they have the option to get some of them without having to spend money, which I think is cool. So I got to give 2K props. I, it, it's a little bit fairer i guess you could say quote unquote but i also don't know if i love them dropping this many hall of fame badges this early I, I know they're less effective and less quite they make a little bit less difference this year but still just my thoughts let me know what y'all think about every hall of fame badge being dropped this early let me know what y'all are thinking about tomorrow's content drop because that is going to be really interesting to see what it's looking like when the playbook comes out here in a couple hours and if you did enjoy the video make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace